Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. All right, so in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about what has been happening lately and where I'm going to go with content. And I've briefly touched on this in a few other videos, but the past couple of months have been very interesting and um, my my level of I guess, I guess you could say my level of awareness uh, is expanding and I am starting to remember some things and I think it's about time that I not only talk about continue to talk about Neville's teachings but go beyond that um, especially given that I could do so now with confidence based on my experiences recently and things that I am starting to remember and again it's all part of this journey of awakening so again i'm going to continue to talk about neville's uh teachings you know read his lectures and stuff because i absolutely love his teachings and finding his teachings really was a huge step for me um in you know my own awakening journey because they resonated with me so profoundly uh, his teachings did so uh let me just to run down kind of what's been happening lately. All right, so where do I start? Um, I understand now that there is so much more to life, to what we are experiencing, than what is stated in the Bible. Uh, the Bible is a story, a series of stories, a, uh, mystical experiences and visions and a, I guess you could say a blueprint, you know, for how to live our life. But it is only one piece, one example um, among the many, 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 many different Things, uh, things that are out there in this world, um, other writings, ancient texts, uh, other people's experiences, you know, the mystics that go way, way, way back, you know, uh, modern teachers, etc. There's so much information out there in regards to awakening and manifesting and uh, consciousness if you take a if you were to really look at every individual piece you would see that it's it's all everything is all connected it really is everything is connected now as you are as you come across things that resonate with you or things that uh, may make a little bit of sense but don't completely resonate, then I would just encourage you to uh, be, be discerning, right? So don't take everything at face value. Don't. Uh, you really, uh, it's up to you to discern like what, what resonates with you at any given time i guess that's the best way i can state it so all right for me what has been happening is i have i'm starting to look at the way the world operates in terms of uh, energy vibration not too deeply yet, but um, energy, vibration, and the, I'm trying to figure out how to word this, uh, how 
the experiences of others that we hear or read about with, um, say for instance, like aliens, you know, abductions, uh, channeling, things like that come into play. Um, scripture, how scripture plays into our life and how really everything is interwoven. So when, when I started my blog, my YouTube channel, uh, back 2018, prior to that, I would say 2017 is I was, um, studying the law of attraction, but at the time I didn't really believe too much in energy and vibration, um, things like that. So I'm actually, I'm waiting on an email. I've got to get a report done this morning. So if I look back, it's, um, I'm checking to see if that comes in cause I've only got a couple of, of hours, uh, to, get that done and then uh, take it somewhere. But anyway, uh, I didn't really believe in energy or vibration, but the affirmations resonated with me. So I started writing down affirmations, started saying affirmations, and I stopped identifying with the with uh, dealing with anxiety or depression. I stopped saying I am this or I am that um, in regards to those things. So that really helped me overcome anxiety and depression. And uh, even the, the mindset of poverty, because that is also something that uh, was a theme, right? Growing up and then even into my adulthood up until my 30s or 40s. But anyway, it's no longer the case, but What I've realized now, what has come back into my awareness is the idea of vibration and how everything has, um, everything is energy and everything has a uh, frequency to it. Our thoughts, our words, um, everything has a frequency to it. So it's not an area of expertise for me, but, you know, as this has come back into my awareness or even the idea of extra dimensional beings um, and creation prior to what is written in the Bible. There's a reason those things have come back into my awareness. There is a reason why many of those things are resonating with me now. So I'm not going to dismiss, uh, I'm not going to dismiss the things that are resonating with me. So, but while those, while those things have come back into my awareness, I've started to understand why certain things have happened to me in my life, why I've had certain experiences. I'm starting to realize that a few of the dreams that I've had may be what we most would consider past lives that are um, their experiences that we have had in a previous lifetime and they those experiences are part of our akash our the our akashic records which in the bible it's called the book of life all right so what's happening now for me is scripture and i guess you could science Scripture, science, uh, the metaphysical, things are, things are starting to, they're no longer separate. They're starting to mesh together for me. I'm understanding now that my ability to speak in tongues, is, it's actually light language. And I never knew that before. I didn't realize it was light language and as I came into that awareness I I realized I'm like you know there have been times where I have written things um, I have had discussions with other people via email one time one time specifically I was writing an email to a friend and I was sitting in 
a Starbucks cafe inside of uh, a grocery store inside of Safeway here in Colorado. And I'm writing this email and it was, I remember writing as if I didn't really even know what I was writing. I was just typing and I was like, in such a state of, I would say bliss, but it was, I was helping him through something, I believe. I was having this conversation, but it was more about, I was showing him or teaching him something through the words I was writing, but I it, they were just flowing and I literally could feel this light like the lights got brighter and I could feel this like white energy around me and it was so intense I actually I was going to church at the time and I had bible study with friends every week and I remember ex explaining this experience to them and it was it was just incredible so uh there was that instance and I realized now that I was probably channeling and didn't even realize it. Well, I say I didn't realize it, but I knew at the time I was like, something's going on here. This is not really me even writing this. Something else is coming through. I didn't, uh, I don't think I had heard the term channeling at the time. Uh, so there was that experience. I probably had I probably had a couple of other experiences like that uh, that I can vaguely think of off the top of my head, but they're not detailed, so I don't want to say with 100% accuracy. Um, I remember there was one time I'm, you know, walking, taking a walk out in my neighborhood, uh, and I was in a state, I was, it was a difficult time for me. I was going through challenges, but I was, I remember just feeling like, this state of like peace, like everything is going to be okay. And I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but I had looked down at this flower and I could literally see white and like this white glow around the flower. But again, and this was prior to 2017, but again, when I was studying law of attraction, the idea of energy and like frequencies and things didn't resonate with me and uh, haven't really until now there it's starting to um there have been times where i have for i you know i've been laying in my bed and i could feel something on my bed like something was walking on on my bed like a little cat like a cat or something or i could physically or i could actually feel yeah something walking uh, or laying down in my bed and feeling, uh, you know, feeling as though I were shaking or vibrating. It happened last night laying on, you know, laying down. I was like vibrating or, you know, not really shaking, but literally I could just feel this vibration. Um, I'm trying to think of other things. Oh, and things coming back to remembrance for some reason, like this week. There have been a couple times where I it's actually dawned on me that, yeah, there have been a few of my dreams that have probably been um, just, you know, past lifetimes that I've lived. I can't say with 100% certainty, things are still coming through. Uh, understanding why certain things resonated with me so profoundly growing up uh things in school like i had a fascination with genghis khan and that era or uh, greek mythology and there's a good chance that those were they resonate with me so profoundly because Perhaps I, I lived in those errors or something. I don't know yet. Again, things are still coming to me. But the the main point I'm trying to get at is that things are really, like things are starting to come together and make sense. Uh, 
couple nights ago. I'll probably mention this again when I write about the dreams that I had. I woke up. I felt a tap, like a tap on my right shoulder. I physically felt somebody tapping on me. And I woke up and I actually looked over thinking I was going to see somebody standing there. Um, I have woken up to, you know, my name being called. And I remember one time I was uh, at my ex-husband's house. I was sleeping on the couch downstairs. We had just moved here. Um, and we were separated at the time. But I heard either my name, Chrissy, or I heard mom. And I woke up and I actually saw a child standing on the bottom of the stairs. A lot of people would think, okay, you know, those are those are ghosts and stuff. So, you know, I don't know. But I'm, I know now that there are, in my opinion, there are extra dimensional beings. Um, many, many, many of them. And if you, when you read scripture and it, it talks about, it says, let us make God in our image, our, there are multiple gods. There are multiple beings in this, um, in this world. So anyway, it's a lot, it's, it's a lot. Um, there's been some other things going on, but yeah, I think I'm at the point now where I can start talking about some of these other things and, um, not really just separately. I really want to tie in things to tie things together, right? So they make more sense. So, um, still talking about novels lectures still talking about scripture because it's part of it but then going a bit beyond that as well so oh and then i'm going to start doing videos where i'm actually speaking light language aak speaking in tongues i don't know how to interpret light language i don't know if anybody can really is able to interpret light language maybe channelers that are out there i don't i have no idea but i'm going to start doing those videos and um i'm just going to put them up here on my channel in the hopes that maybe uh you know if somebody run that is experienced and has been working with light language for a while can maybe shed some shed some light uh, or if, you know, there are any, any people out there that are able to interpret light language, they could also shed some light. So I'm going to do that. It's going to be <coughs> some different content coming out here on my channel. So anyway, I didn't mean to make this so long, but anyway, that's kind of where I'm at. And, uh, I'm excited to have you guys here with me. And I would love for you guys to engage in, in the comments, especially if you're going through uh, your own awakening journey uh, and then and want to share uh, your experiences or have any questions. I would love to engage with you. All right. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye.